Hello, this is the demonstration section of the Arrow Step Stabilizer from Firenac. Well, you can see this is one of the typical setup we have, but before we see, show you how this is made, I want to talk about individual components and the theory behind each. First of all, let's find out start with our stabilizer bars. As you can see, we mix many, many forms in many, many lengths. And there's two different major different distinctions. One of them is made of solid GL5 titanium, and then with GL5 titanium at both ends. So everything is GL5 on this. This is one of the, uh, the early stage of our system. A lot of people like it because it is very much follow the original Olympic stabilizer systems. Then we go into a little bit more involved because we also learned titanium is so good in vibration isolation. We actually make them in many, many lengths. As you can see right now, five actually are going to be eight, five, six, eight, 10, 27 inches stabilizer. They come in the basic uh, type two anodizer and a little bit like rainbow. But you can see they all have the same identical piece. You've got a hollow titanium stud O-ring. And yes, in order to use that, you do need to use this spacer. This is actually one of the more important pieces. It comes with every stabilizer. And some of the early versions, if you have one without that, call us. We will make sure you got some of this. Now you saw the bar, but then, which is made of titanium. But what happens to elbows? And, and like others, our elbows are actually 100% interchangeable. Let me go and show you a chunk of them, okay? And why they are so different. To start with, I would like to show you the, the elbows come in two sections. One of them go 90 degree, the other one go 180 degree. This is the one go 90 degree and then add. In other words, this is on the same axis. This will go and turn from the same, from a different plane. Now for the front, front bow mount, this piece is actually more important for people who like to put a stabilizer like a drop, like you do this. By tightening this piece, you can now drop it. Now very important, you notice that unlike others who have the quick release mount facing top, the, the way we design it, the quick release must be on the bottom because the way we use it. If you put it on top, you're gonna lose the connection that like others because we design ours to have the dot facing up. Okay, that's very important. Now, like this one, you can see that you can use a quick release, and then if you drop it to any angle you like, if you're on the front bow mount, you got it. The reason that when you have this nut is that after you tighten it, you more, this angle will not change. Because if you tighten it normally, it will twist. That's the reason we designed this nut to tighten to the bow. And of course, this is a simpler version. This will not give you quick release, but this will let you have the front drop mount just like normal. Now, this is the angle front mount. But most people, what do they do? They just need simply need the adapter piece, which is like this piece on top. You can see that it's nothing more than straight. You go into a bowside mount. Let me go into the bowside mount now. You notice our bowside mount is different from others. Usually they're one side or two side. Our is a multi-side. So what you can do is that by putting one of this plus our single bowside mount into our pieces, now you just got a one bow coming out. But what happens if you want two side? Now you have this. But can you add more? Absolutely. You can just go for it and add more and more. And in this case, I would have three. Look at that. And in some cases, like in 2019, on our catalog, we actually show you with four. Do you really need four? Well, if you need it, you know you can do it with us because ours are so lightweight and so easy to work with. Then you go into the two angles now. So the first elbow, I mean, look at that. The elbow link is, look at how nicely it is made. It also have our, our patent O-ring groove. And in the case of a nut, you notice that we actually have a thin GL5 titanium spacer. Of course, you have two sides. You want to make sure the rough side is facing the nut so you never scratch it. And this is how we actually use this part. Just tighten it down. See the system with the O-ring, you can have a snug fit first. So you can snug it the way you want it. The moment you tighten it, the aluminum hit the aluminum and lock it. Now, this is where I want to sort of bring back a few things. A lot of people look at final systems and say, well, you know, this seems so flimsy and so on. Let's talk about the design philosophy. The reason we design final stabilized system is not to add any possible weight to the system, but take the weight out of the entire system and maintain stabilization. That's the reason we use our stabilizer elbows and links are about one-fifth the size of everybody and still maintain the structural integrity. 
First of all, they are not made of 60, 61. They are all made of 70, 75, okay? So we're talking a whole different grade. They are this about have 82% strength of stainless and only weigh one fifth of stainless. Now, so how, how much lighter weight are we talking about here? Well, let me show you this. This is, we make a package called a single side bullseye mount, which have everything on it. And let's give you a hint how lightweight we are talking about. We are talking anything besides the bar, from the stud to the quick release and everything. Just over two ounces. That means two quick release pin, the front bow, side, front bow mount, a bow side mount, a single side adapter with a 5 16 one and a half inch pin with a, with a one single elbow and an elbow link with a quick release. All these combined, two ounces. Yes, you're looking at it. Which means that if my bar weight an ounce each, and yes, look at our bar. When our backside bar, a lot of people say, you know, how, how heavy can it get? It's about one and a quarter ounces for that. And our front side bar on an eight inch bar, you're looking at maybe two and a half ounces. So if you look at the entire system with the studs, and also with the weight, say you put two ounces in the front, three ounces on the back, you are looking at the entire system under eight ounces. You can't even get a bar with eight ounces for most system, but you can look at the entire system with four ounces of, of three ounces of weight for under eight ounces. So what other things make this system so unique? And why do we make it like that? Now let's all go back to the original bar. How come the bar is so, so lightweight and thin? Is that our bars, are not meant for structural load. In other words, unlike other people in ASA using their front bar like a walking stick, and some people like my customer told me they use the back bar like a climbing aid when they are clawing. This is not made for it. <laughs> this is to just simply balance the bow perfectly in your hand. This is for precision and, and enjoyment. This is not for roughing it. If you need that kind of performance or roughing it performance, I think you need to look elsewhere. Ours are not meant for it. Okay, let's go into the stats. A lot of people say, gosh, your system has stats in it. What, what, what does it really mean? Now remember most other people, they put a screw on it and you stack the weight and you just tighten it, right? No, our system are unique in this way. And by the way, it's patent. You can just go ahead and put a stud at the end of our stabilizer bar like this. You say, well, you stick up quite a bit, isn't it? That's exciting. And you end up with something look like this. But this is where the unique part is. You notice that this is staying right here. What does that mean? That means that with our system, the weight is not static. You can adjust it. Now, look at that. Every one of the weight from one ounce to four ounce to eight ounce weight, which is right here. You notice know we put O-ring on it to make it easy to grip. They also were using a, a, a epoxy coating and then oxidizing process for our weight. You notice there's a second O-ring right here on every one of them. You can see that. Now what's that O-ring for? I'm gonna show you the magic and one of our patterns. You can loosen the weight and as you get the weight closer to the bar, what does it do? It behaves is lighter. And then for example, when you find your ideal weight, you push the second one together and you lock them and they stay in place. That's where the major difference is. Because see, you can minus or add weight not by adding weight, by adding distance. This is where the final system is so different because we utilize angular momentum, distance plus weight. Look at that. As we increase it to the max, Theoretically, we I just added a one ounce more, uh, one and a half more weight, based on the two ounce weight, to the feel of the hand. Have I added any weight? No, I did not. Well, people say, well, Dodge, the system is great, fine, not do a wonderful thing, but I invest heavily in other systems already. What am I going to do? Well, that's the reason we hurt you and we decided maybe you can you pick a few things like a bar first and you can also use your own weight that's the reason we make adapter like this this is a quarter 20 to 5 16 adapter this is a, a two side adapter you can extend or extend other system through this using our studs or anybody's stud and we also give you a finish for the air uh, uh, for the quarter inch yes 
our, everything of ours are five sixteenths. So this is for anybody who use a traditional way and want to move into our system. Like you like a bar, but you don't want to use the way, so you use a depth drift like this. So now you can use quarter 20. And then you're afraid it's not going to look good. Well, you got this to build up your whatever you need. That's how we give you everything you needed. So people say, well, you know, I really have a super heavy side and I need so much more weight on the back. And this is where I think our idea and approach is different from everyone else. Because see, for Finac, what we try to do is attack a problem and then come with a better solution. Yes, the solution usually are a little bit more involved, but being science of our trade, that's the beginning of the game. Think about it. This is a bag of screw that I got from an IQ site, 2021. Look at that. That's close to one and a half ounces by itself. And the IQ size sticks out about three inch out in one and a half ounces. Which means that you now need another one and a half ounces on this to just offset it. So what happens if I change the screws on the side to titanium and knock it out? I won't even need that much more weight. And which is the reason we build titanium, a bow system. Yes, we do upgrade kits for every single side, rest, and so on. And we don't publish it, but if you send me your your sight, rest, stabilizer, whatever, quiver, we will update it. It is a per screw charge on it. Well, that pretty much concluded the entire stabilizer system for you. And I hope you like it. If you have any questions, put it on the comment. I'll try my best to answer it. If there is anything you'd like me to see and demonstrate, I will do another video if that's what you guys want. Thank you so much.